this is Shilpi Saxena. Welcome to my channel Learning Hub. So today we are going to start with a new chapter that is recursion. So uh, in this video, I'll tell you the concept of recursion and I'll demonstrate one program. So uh, recursion is basically the function calling itself. Function I've already explained in my previous video. Function is basically a small part of program which can be called within the program or from outside the program also by importing the module. The details you can see in my previous video and you can see how we can import the functions. So recursion is basically all about the function calling itself. So recursion can be of two types that is direct recursion and indirect recursion when I have written here def a and within the body I have called this function a it becomes direct recursion and if if I have used a in the body I have called b and in b I have called a means when this will execute this will call this function which will in turn call this function means it will calling it will keep on calling each other so this type of function is known as indirect function it can be also like well, suppose c def c and then calling itself that is it will call a means this one so it will keep on calling each other so it is a, an indirect recursion so the benefit of recursion is see all the iterations Iterations I have already explained when I was explaining for loop. The when the part of uh, program is executed again and again, specified number of time, it is known as iteration. So all the programs using iteration can be replaced by rec recursion. The benefit is the computation is easy, it is faster and secondly, the complexity is low. So we, uh, we will see how recursion is beneficial over in, uh, iterative functions. So the first example is suppose I want to calculate the sum of n natural numbers. The program will be suppose def sum n if n is equal to 1 return 1 else return n plus sum n minus 1 and the value of n we can take input from the user or we can fix it also better to take input from user I have written n is equal to 4 then I have called this now this see in each and every recursion there are two cases one one is one case is base case or it is also known as stopping case And second one is recursive case, which is also known as inductive case. See, in recursive case, which is the statement which is calling the function recursively, it is known as recursive case. The, the statement which will return the uh, control out of the which will send the control out of the function is known as stopping case or base case so it is mandatory to have the base case in each and every recursive function if we will not have base case what will happen suppose i am not having this in that case it will keep on executing keep on executing till uh, as in form of infinite loop and when and when the recursive depth occurs means when the memory is full then only it is going to stop otherwise it will keep on executing infinite loop so it is mandatory to have base case so this how it will execute see when we are using any recursive function it is uh, used in form of it it is executed in form of stack stack of frames in which each and every frame corresponds to the function invocation so how it is implemented i'll show you see this is the stack and which is demonstrating each and every frame this is a frame the execution will start from here suppose i have called here sum of 4 so 
sum 4. This is the calling of recursive function. Now, sum 4. Now, it will call the function sum 4 and it will come here, check whether it is equal to 1 or not. It is not equal to n is 4. It is not equal to 1. So, it will go here. So, what will execute? Return 4 plus sum n minus 1 that is 3. In next recursion, this will be as it is. Sum 4, then sum 4, return 4 plus sum 3 and one more frame is added that is sum of 3. Then it will return, it is again not equal to 1. So it will return 3 plus sum of 3 minus 1 that is 2. So now again it is called, it will call a function. sum 2 so it will return 2 plus sum 1 and it was sum 3 that will be as it is return 3 plus sum of 2 then again sum 4 return 4 plus sum 3 and here the function call was made the very first frame this was now again it will make a function call that is sum of 1 now all the frames will be as it is all the frames 1 2 3 and 4 frames will be suppose I have written here sum 2 Return 2 plus sum of 1. Now it will make a function call to sum of 1. Now it now n has reached to base case. Means return and it will return 1. So it is going to return 1. Which will in turn come here. See when we are returning any value it is passed to the statement from where the function was called. So, this sum 1 will be replaced by 1. So, in next recursion, it will be all the other frames will be as it is. And this will become sum 2 and return 2 plus 1. Below this, the frame was sum 3. Return 3 plus sum of 2. Now, what it will return? 3. And this, that 3 will be passed here. So, now this value will be replaced by 3. Now, all the frames will be as it is. Now, this will pass this to here. So, sum 3. Return 3 plus 3. Below it, there was sum 4, return 4 plus sum of 3. So, this control will be passed to this one, sum of 4. So, now this will be replaced by 6. Now, 6, now again, this will pass control to here. So, this, uh, this way, now here, this will pass the control return sum 3 will become now 10 and now this will this will return 10 and it will go here so result will be finally 10 see the sum of natural number 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 4 plus 3 7 7 8 9 and 10 this will be the result in this way recursive function works
Now I will demonstrate this on my laptop. So you can see here this is a program to uh, find the sum of n numbers n I have taken input from the user. This is the statement which will take input from the user. Then the function is called and finally the whatever result is there that will be printed on the screen. So this this sum and will call the function here x whatever we are sending that will be sent to x. If x is equal to 1 this one is base case it will return 1 otherwise it will return x plus some x minus 1 with this x minus 1 will again call this and it will keep on calling and reducing the value of x till x reaches 1. When x will reach 1 it will come out of the loop and finally it will the result will be returned and that will be printed. Now I will run this program. Suppose as I demonstrated 4 then the sum of uh, first 4 natural number is 10. Again I will turn try to run this function f5. Suppose I am putting 5. So the sum of first and natural number is 50. So you can see if we were using iteration. So it was much complex and much bigger program. But when we are re using recursion the program complexity is reduced. My dear students I hope you understood the concept of recursion. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, hit the bell icon, don't forget to share and keep tuned to watch my next video in which I will be covering few examples of recursive functions. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. Right?